followed by... Hello, battlers! Ross Mero here, and today we are going to be opening the Battle Spirits Gundam Collaboration Booster, Warriors of Space. As you guys can see, I've got a brand new epic looking Battle Spirits playmat featuring the Grand Walkers Zeus and Ra facing off with their God Spirits Thunder Z Leon and Sigma Turn. I'd like to give a big shout out to World of Cards. I got this playmat from them and they are the local Battle Spirits distributors for Singapore, Malaysia and Indonesia. So it is really thanks to the efforts of these guys that we are able to purchase Battle Spirits even in local card shops here in Singapore and enjoy official events such as tournaments. So whether or not you live in Singapore, I do highly recommend checking out their Facebook page. I'll put the link in my description and probably somewhere up here as well because they post all the latest information about the newest Battle Spirits cards as well as English translations of their effects for English players to use. So once again, thank you World of Cards. Make sure you guys check them out and let's get on with this opening. Let's get started. Honestly, there isn't really any one card I'm hoping to pull the most from this set. I just want to get more support for my uh, C, Double O, and Unicorn decks in... Oh wow, a Tensei card right off the bat. And starting off, we have a zero cost for Unicorn. Ooh, a Jin, nice! I think Gundam Seed was like the very first Gundam series I watched as a child, so that one has a lot of like nostalgic memories for me. This is... Oh, this is Banshee Noir cool in unicorn mode and starting off we have a rebirth rare in the form of Gundam Keldin the successor to Dynamis in the second season of Double O. So Double honestly if I had a choice I'd say I'd want the Double O cards in this set the most because Double O was like the very first the the first Gundam series that I actually watched from beginning from the beginning to the end because I discovered it I discovered it shortly after I even discovered like the fact that you can watch anime with subtitles on the internet because before that I wasn't into anime at all. Here we have GN Arms Type E for Gundam X, yeah? Pretty cool. And Lock on Stratos, but as the season 2 form, so this is Neil Delandi, Lyle's brother. Nice, we're getting a lot of double O cards. And here we have Raider Gundam, one of those three, uh, you know, assholes from the Federation in C. This is a rare, which means it's gonna be followed by Rosen Zulu. And this is, I believe, a master rare. Yes, it is. So, okay, you know what? Rares, we are just gonna let, let's put it in the same set over there. Masters and X's, and anything above that, we'll put in the sensor. Okay. For the x rares in this set for, wow, okay, it really gives it away, you know, I really hate that, but it's like, none of the x rares or double X's in this set are Tensei cards, so I guess it's fine, I'm not gonna care about that too much. Maybe a zero, Mula Flaga's mobile armor in the earlier days of Seed, and here's one of the Trinity, Trinity trio, the three siblings. Ooh, GN Arms Type D for Dynamis. This is the one that Lockon used in its final match against Alial Sashes. Ail Strike Gundam. This is Side B, and Side A is the normal. Oh, is Sword Strike Gundam. So it's a sword that flips into Ail. Pretty cool. We'll put that right there. For yes, the Double O X rares. I believe there's Double O Riser and Arch. Arch being the upgraded throne Zwei that Alial Sasha's pilots in season 2 and honestly I even though he's such a sick asshole like sick in a bad way although I think he might be a bit sick in a good way in some ways as well he's honestly pretty cool to me like I really quite like Alial Sasha's as a character the way he's written so I am hoping to pull the Arch Gundam and wow Alial Sasha's right there as our rare pilots brave Followed by Strike Rouge. Dude, that artwork is really nice. That is sick. And that's gonna be a Master Rare, our second Master. The one used by Kagali. The pink version of Strike. Honestly, like, I'm not sure what's, to, what's going on in this set. But when I looked at the artwork on the website, I find that the artwork for the Gundams up to R is a bit... Uh, Okay, well, reveal again. It's a bit off, like not very nice, especially for the double O second season uh, main Gundams with their Transam forms as Rebirth Rares. Like, uh, on their normal sides, they look pretty good, but once they switch into Transam, well, I think it's quite difficult to draw a Transam Gundam and make it look nice because, like, the whole thing is just colored red. So, I don't know, it's like some of them don't really look that good to me, but the Masters and above look really nice. 
Here we have Cerevi Gundam for his B side in Transum, and then the A side in his normal form. Okay, for this one, even the A side doesn't look that nice. This is a Rebirth Rare, right? Yeah, Rebirth Rare. So, so far we've got Keradim and Cerevi. So all that's left is Arios and Double O in Non-Riser. Okay, nice! Buku! Okay, so, see this one, the artwork's like a bit cartoony, so I'm not too big of a fan of it. I like like the more gritty, I like to see Gundams in more gritty, realistic kind of art, because that's kind of like the whole point of Gundams. They're supposed to be sci-fi, like not complete fantasy. This, it, this uh, inect from Double O looks really good though. And here we have Johan Trinity. Raw like clues, followed by... Full Armor Unicorn Gundam in Destroy Mode. So this is our first X-Rare, a double symbol, 9 cost, Rit Spirit looking really epic. At levels 1, 2 and 3, when this spirit attacks or blocks, destroy 2 of your opponent's spirits or ultimates with 10k BP or less. At levels 2 and 3, when this spirit attacks, destroy your opponent's spirit or ultimate with the highest BP. At levels 2 and 3, when this spirit attacks, at the end of the battle, destroy one of your opponent's spirit or ultimates with 15k or less BP. And if after that, your opponent has no more spirits on their field, move 2 of 2 core from their life to the reserve. So this is this is just like an even more intense version of the unicorn we saw in the in the start the, the unicorn destroy mode that we saw in the starter deck just bringing the whole meaning of destroy mode to another level like literally all those three effects just involve destruction there is nothing defensive about this card as at all oh, nice it just bombs everything and then takes away from the opponent's life if there's nothing left which that's just, it's just intense. Anyway, here we have Shigu. I think it's like the Kagu, like C-G-U-E, if I remember the name correctly from back when I was reading like the seed, uh, the seed manga as a child. We have the Kusanagi, and yup, we saw this uh, Rebirth Rare. This is the Freedom Gundam in first off, he starts off normally. And then after that, by rebirthing, he gains his Meteor units. Very nice. So, this Meteor unit is a bit insane because it has an effect which basically destroys all of your, uh, sends all of your opponent's spirits that are cost 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, or 11, basically all the odd numbers, to the bottom of their deck. And this basically aligns with the Rebirth Rare Justice, which also gains the Meteor equipment uh, after rebirthing. And he basically has the same effect, but for all of the even numbered costs instead. So if you use both of your effects in tandem, you're basically getting rid of all of your opponent's spirits at once. Now this, this scene was from the opening, so... Ooh, Gundam Throne Zwei. I've always liked the Throne Gun, the Throne Trinity Gundams. They're all pretty cool, but I think Zwei is the one that looks the best in this set. The other two, their artwork's not so nice. See, Gundam Throne Dry, like, I don't know, it just doesn't look as good as Zwei in that specific artwork. It's a uh, Master Rare, cool. So we're gonna be putting her down here. Her, because she's pi Dry is piloted by the sister, right? What's her name again? Nono? Nono Trinity? Well, we'll find out when we pull her. There's like Johan, Johan's the older brother, and Mik Mikhail, is that the second brother? Setsuna F. Say in Season 2. Ore Tachiwa Gundam. That's essentially the name of this card right there. We are Gundam. And here we have another Rebirth Rare. This is starting off as Strike Gundam and then uh, putting on his armor pack to become Ale Strike Gundam. Pretty cool. Our last pack of the first pile. Some of you guys might be wondering, but on the front of the pack, you see the Unicorn Gundam with like the green, the green psycho frame particles, right? That's the Awakened Unicorn Gundam, and that's the double X rare available in this set. So I wouldn't mind pulling that, but I also wouldn't mind pulling one of the secrets, because the secrets for collaboration boosters look really cool. So here we have the Gira Zuru Angelo Angelo's Custom. It's a rare, so that means we're gonna get something here. Freedom Gundam High Max Full Burst. So this is essentially just the normal freedom, but you know in that mode where Kira seed activates and then staring at the screen, it's like lock on, lock on, lock on, lock on, and boom! And everyone just... Well, they don't die because Kira doesn't kill anyone, but they all get finished. So wait a minute, he's he's a change card? I didn't know that. So 
Well, let's take a look at his effect. Flash change with 6 cost and 4 white reductions. You can return your opponent's spirits back to the hand up to a cost up to a total cost of 40? Isn't this, isn't that just gonna be all of them if they don't have effect immunity to this? This, uh, For 6 cost. But if you have 4 white spirits on your field, which probably isn't gonna be very hard, there, there are good... There are many low cost Gundams of 4 seed, of course, so you can effectively do this at 2 cost? Dude! These Gundam cards are a bit insane. I'm kind of looking forward to using them in real time now, but it's like, it's like whoever gets their X-Rare down first is just gonna bomb the field. And of course, since this is a change effect, uh, after activating this effect, you either discard this card or exchange it, uh, exchange it as refreshed with a cost five seven with one of your cost five seven or nine white spirits while ignoring the cost of the brave. White spirit. Not limited to Gundam. You could play this in like a normal white deck just for that one-off change. Bam! Just send total cost 40 back to the hand, man. At levels 1, 2, and 3, phase shift armor cost 7 or less. At levels 2 and 3, flash during either player's attack step. Once per turn, you can either refresh this uh, spirit or for this turn, let have it gain one white symbol. Pretty interesting. So it does give it some kind of offensive potential as well. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. I mean, cause like, after you get it on the field and then like... Oh, wait a minute. Refreshing it is essentially the same as giving it one white symbol in a sense. So you can basically adapt according to the situation which one is better for you. Like, uh, depending on the amount of blockers the opponents have. Because increasing your symbols not going to help if your opponent can just block, right? But then if they only have one blocker, getting a refreshed attack can be pretty good. Patrick Kolaslaw, <laughs> the cockroach of the 00 series. Those of you guys who've watched would know what I mean. That was just told. Oh, Calamity Gundam, the second of the assholes. This is a rare. And followed by Unicorn Gundam number two, Banshee Norn in destroy mode. Very nice. This is just a master rare. Let's put it with the other master rares. Oh, very nice. You've actually got one of each master rare already. And then now with Unicorn, we've got two for Unicorn, so... Hopefully, oh, it'll be pretty nice if we get like a balanced output. Since, you know, I'm just planning to use this, these guys to like, these decks to play against each other for fun. So it'll be good to have like equal numbers for each. We are gonna... Ah, Nana Trinity, right, that's her name. Sinanju! With Sinanju with Rocket Bazooka. Okay, I assume that means there's like a lower rarity Sinanju. Wait a minute! This is just a rare, but it looks so freaking cool! This is the best looking card so far! Look at this guys, it's like one of those epic artworks on like the model kits when you buy them the box art. Followed by a Unicorn Gundam Destroy Mode Beam Gatling Equipment, okay? Oh man, then it looks like we're getting a lot of Unicorn support. That's a bit of a shame. Well, I kind of feel like we need to put this in Andrew somewhere. I'll put you here. Okay, carrying on. So that's uh, five Masters already, two Xs. Okay, I see a Tensei card. Oh, that guy. <laughs> that guy. Oh, oh, the very first episode. Yep, and our Rebirth Rare is the Elvalon, which transforms from the Elvatore. This is the final, final enemy in Double O Season 1, when the rich guy that was kind of acting like a benefactor to Celestial Being just turns around and starts to betray them, and then kills a lot of- oh, nice. Kills a lot of people, but then in the end, Exia manages to destroy him with the help of the rest of the crew, some of the rest of the crew. Oh, M1 Astray, that is sick artwork. Followed by... Yes, Justice Gundam, normally, but then once you rebirth him, he transforms into Justice Gundam Meteor Custom. Now, cool thing about the rebirths in this Gundam set is that they are called like, zero rebirths, which means that they do not increase your count. And on top of not increasing your count, they typically have this condition of like, uh, during either player's uh, Attack step flash timing, you can pay one cost to basically initiate this mode change. So 
I think it really fits the Gundam theme because it is a rebirth that you can activate technically when you like. But I think doing it this way really fits the Gundam theme because like if you were piloting a Gundam and it can change modes, you'd get to decide when you can change its mode, right? Not really having to fulfill like a specific condition or anything like that. Carrying on. Kshatriya Repair. This is a rebirth rare followed by Providence Gundam. So that is our last X-Rare for C. So now let's take a look at the Kshatriya Repair. Kshatriya ba Basseling. What is that? Kshatriya Baseling. Okay, I don't really remember which version of Kshatriya this is. But anyway, here's our Providence Gundam with two white symbols and eight cost and four white reductions. Rolly Clusay's Providence Gundam. Levels 1, 2, and 3, Phase Shift Armor cost 7 or less. Levels 1, 2, and 3, Flash. During either player's attack stat, you may pay 2 costs such that during the course of this turn, all of your opponent's spirits have their costs reduced by 1. After that, you can return one of your opponent's uh, cost 7 or less spirits back to the hand. So, first, the, for the first thing I notice about this is that it's not a once per turn effect. So you can use it as many times as you want to reduce your opponent's uh, spirit's cost. Now why this is good is because uh, the white spirits for C, the white Gundams for C, they have the phase shift armor, which prevents them from being affected by the effects of your opponent's cards of a certain cost or less. So if you reduce the opponent's card cost, you basically allow your Gundams to be more immune to those effects. And another benefit of reducing the cost also is that it decreases your opponent's, uh, it kind of throws off your opponent's ability to use uh, certain change effects and advent effects as well because those kinds of effects have a certain cost requirement so reducing the cost can like basically make it impossible for them to do so especially for advent but for change uh change it's less so effective because i think for change it's like you want your cost to be below a certain amount whereas for advent you want your cost to be above a certain amount so it doesn't really uh it affects advent more than change finally at levels two and three during either player's attack step uh when your opponent tries to use a card from their hand that is cost 5 or less before that effect activates you can discard or you can discard one card with the zaft attribute in your hand in order to instantly negate the activation of that effect so that's really good but having the cost 5 or less restriction is a bit tough but i guess it allows you to negate all of like the powerful defensive white cards which prevent you from basically finishing the game in that turn and this take note that this effect does not benefit from providence's second effect which reduces the opponent's spirit cost by two because uh that is for spirits only it doesn't really affect like magic and other stuff like that here we have a uh, Rebirth Rare, which is the Dual Gundam in Assault Shroud and then rebirthing into the Dual Gundam after the Assault Shroud armor has been broken. Moving on. So, 5 Masters and 3 Xs. I guess we're pretty much done here. I don't think we'll be pulling anything else. A Red Rebirth. Oh, I see, I see. Again, the Baku. Here we have a Rebirth Rare for Unicorn Gundam first in Unicorn mode and then transforming into Destroy mode. It's kind of nice that like this Gundam collaboration booster comes after the release of the Rebirth mechanic because it fits the franchise so well. Wait a minute, but if you're gonna talk about that... Battle Spirit so far has collabed with Digimon up to Digimon Tamers. That means if they do another Digimon collab, it should be Digimon Frontier, if they're gonna have Frontier in the first place. And that would be so good for Rebirth, cause you could like Rebirth Agunimon into Vitramon, like between the human armor spirits. Oh, this Jinx looks so good! Look at that artwork! That is insane! That is Master Red Wave. This is a rare. That means we've got something behind it. Lagoe? L L oh, this is... it's just the Master Rare. So I guess... I guess it's six Masters. Six Masters? Yep. Six Masters and three Xs. So I guess 
one of the masters could have been like a secret or the double X. I think that's how it works. But yes, oh my god, if they release a Digimon Frontier collaboration booster and then have like the human armor spirits being able to rebirth into the, the beast spirits, that would be the sickest thing ever, I swear. Because Digimon Frontier is awesome. Gundam Throne Iron. Wait a minute! This is also a rare and it's not the last... Agrissa? This is the mobile armor that Alial Sasha's uses, right? This is... It's a master? We get seven masters? Isn't this a bit weird? Is this supposed to happen? Seven masters? I don't know. Maybe that's what it's like for a collaboration booster because... No, no, it can't be because I've opened the Kamen Rider collaboration boosters and I don't get this much masters from them. Okay, Grissa, you know what? That, that's definitely not a foil at this point. We've got like 10 foils. So I'll just move the Sinanju down over here. And now let's open our final pack of Warriors of Space. Oh man, I guess that means no double X or secret for me. Yeah, you know what? I can really see the rebirth rare that I'm gonna pull. Okay, Rizal. Johan Trinity. Hold on, and finally our Rebirth Rare is a different Rebirth variant for Strike. This one starts off as Ale Strike and then transforms into Launcher Strike Gundam. Finally, time to open our Box Purchase Special Promo Pack, and it's going all oh, that scene! This final scene, you know, uh, those of you guys who've watched Seed will know the I'm the man who makes the impossible possible. Mula Flagas final moments in Seed, although he comes back in Seed Destiny technically. Nice, crystalline wall with a Seed specific artwork that is so epic. This is the, I think this is the best one out of the three because uh, all the three promos are crystalline wall but with like different artworks fitting the different series. So the one for Unicorn is like when uh, Unicorn, Banager and Unicorn awakens for the first time with like the green particles. And then for Double O, it's when Setsuna FSA as a child while he's on the battlefield when he's saved by Ribbons in the O Gundam. So honestly, I think this is the best looking one. So that's great. And with that, we have come to the end of this CB13 opening. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. Let me know what you guys think about these new Gundam collaboration Battle Spirits cards in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more Battle Spirits booster box and product openings on the day of release. It will probably be a while till the next time I open another Battle Spirit set because honestly, the only one that I'm thinking of opening next is the next main booster, BS53 Amazing Impact, which comes out at the end of August. Because next month's release is the Aikatsu Collaboration Booster. I think Aikatsu is some kind of like uh, idol anime a franchise in Japan, so I don't really know about that. And But in July, there is this set called The Greatest Record 2020, which is like kind of like a premium set, which releases a lot of old reprints of very important and good Battle Spirits cards. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that just yet, but maybe I will because I think that if I open a box of that, I'll have a lot more cards that I'll be able to use to build a deck with for like the main rebirth decks that I'm trying to build from BS52. Because from one box of, from one box of BS52, I've got like half a deck worth of cards for all six colors. So right now, I still haven't been able to do any playtesting. Although I am thinking of like buying like some singles for like at least the cheaper commons and rares just to like make up the amount I need to make a deck so I can start playing around a bit. Anyway with that, hope to see you guys in the next Battle Spirits video.